Hello, this is Jeff Oker with In-Depth Studies. Today, we're looking at the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 10. And here the Apostle John says, On the Lord's day, or the day of the Lord, I was in the Spirit, and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet, which said, and of course then he's told what to write, but I want to focus on, in verse 10, where it says, On the Lord's day, I was in the Spirit. Now, Popularly, the Lord's Day is taken to be Sunday. I would like to question that. And here are my reasons. First off, the day of the Lord, the Lord's Day, in the Old Testament, among the prophets, is used uniformly for a time of judgment. Isaiah 13, 6 will describe the day of the Lord referring to judgment on Babylon. And then in the New Testament, the day of the Lord is used consistently for the second coming. So you have 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 2. Then you have the really four places that talk about days in the teaching passages of the New Covenant era. You have Romans 14, you have Colossians 2, you have Galatians 4, and Hebrews 4. All of them are anti-day. So, when, if you are the original hearers of John's book of Revelation, and you heard him say, I was, that he says, on the, on the day of the Lord, on the Lord's day, I was in the Spirit, what would you think? Would you think of an actual day? Well, my point is no. That'd be the last thing you think of. You would think it's a time of judgment. And of course, that's what the second coming is all about, the book of Revelation. And it's ultimately about the, the bringing in of the end. And God is going to judge the wicked and usher in the new heavens and new earth. So here is just something to ponder. You know, if you just have the Bible, would you ever come up with the conclusion that Revelation 1.10 is referring to Sunday, the Lord's Day? And I would say no. Thank you very much. Take care now. Bye-bye.